Hey, 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 guys. Hope all is well. Boy, do I have a beauty for you on this one. This is the new floor plan called the Rosemary. We got two clients right now building it and a lot more that want to. This gorgeous South Fulton community. Uh, I think they're only going to have a, literally a handful left. So you actually have to be on the waiting list. Uh, but it is absolutely gorgeous. It's a swim tennis community and uh it's an established community but the builder has bought up 43 lots in here and uh, as mentioned we have about six clients that have building in here and i wanted to show it to you because they just opened their model home which is this rosemary uh it is about 3800 i think 3850 square feet and as you can tell it's just gorgeous you have beautiful covered patio saw the three car garage and wait till you guys see the level of detail in here all right oh who's that over there is that miss is that mr russell <laughs> how's it going all right two-story foyer is gigantic oh it's the wrought iron stair I mean, uh, wrought iron um, spindles. They are absolutely gorgeous and really complete that staircase. All right, over here to the left, we have this dining room staged beautifully. Notice how the trim work is more than halfway up the wall, which is a great decorating technique as well. You have the coffered ceilings. Over here in this room, you have a flex room. Uh, basically, you can use it for, uh, right now it's the uh, on-site agent's desk area, so it makes a great home office, as you can see. So they added a TV on the wall here, too. You could do build-outs. Um, so absolutely great flexibility in this room. We have our favorite friend and on-site agent, Charmaine, <laughs> who will be uh, part of the team helping you with building one of these great floor plans. I love this rosemary floor plan. Oh, it's nice to see the butler's pantry. Um, this is a great area, too. To maybe put a Keurig or a little bar area. You got the tile around the uh, granite countertops. White cabinets in this one gigantic island and definitely does not lack for counter space at all you can see the subway tile here this is your pantry which has tons of um wire racks in there double ovens microwave four burner gas cooktop dishwasher and where your refrigerator would go i mean totally like a gourmet kitchen this is your kitchenette area. I love the design too with the gold curtain uh, rods up there. It's absolutely beautiful. While I'm over here, I'm going to show you what a lot of their lots are going to look like. Um, some of them have this covered back patio with the concrete. And as you can see, it has... This is, guys, city of uh, South Fulton, but it has an Atlanta mailing address. Put you about 20 minutes to downtown Atlanta, 15 minutes to the airport. Just a beautiful, beautiful floor plan. Wait till you see the size of the secondary bedrooms, the master bedroom. I mean, to be pretty much, like I said, a city address, Atlanta address, mailing address golf course down the street brand new public shopping center domino's pizza cvs uh just a great great place to call home to be um you know in the fours and fives that's what this price point would get you probably more well into the fives for basement homes which they expect coming up um these slab homes i would say definitely well into the 400s Eventually, they may creep into the fives just because of the amount of demand that it has. All right, so now we have the family room. It's just huge. I love the idea of adding a mirror in here. 
But notice the the big columns, the rev wood, which is kind of, um, it looks like hardwood floors, but it's a wood composite uh, floating floor uh, product, which means it doesn't scratch or dent. We're seeing this with almost every builder now. We even added it to our house because if you have pets, kids, and worry about dropping things, um, it really makes a huge, huge difference when you just mop it up. Look at the size of this washroom. This is the three car garage area. <clears throat> um, so it's showing two right now, but remember where I saw that uh, flex space, where the, where, the, where the actual desk was, that's where your third car garage is. So depending on how they spec it out, you'll either get that extra room, which adds about 9,000, or you're gonna get the three car garage. Personally, I like a three car garage um, because you're gonna have so much other space in this house that is really, you know, not needed to me. So you see you got the wire racks. This is bedroom number one. Turn the light on. Right now they're just kind of, you know, showing it as, uh, this is what you'll see sometimes in model homes where sometimes you'll have selections and stuff like that. And this particular product, the builder actually puts a ton of upgrades. They, what they call spec the house out. Um, and as you just met Charmaine, she's the one that picks out a lot of the finishes. So when you see the double ovens, when you see the white cabinets, gray cabinets, you know, she's doing a great job picking it out. As you can see, you have the walk-in closet. And what's great about this particular floor plan is that this bedroom downstairs, you very rarely see a downstairs bedroom with its own bathroom. Uh, so you have the tub shower combo, the granite countertops, the white cabinets, the toilet in here. Um, before I head upstairs, I want to show you as well as a half bath. So when you have guests over and you're entertaining, you don't have to have somebody go through one of your rooms. This is the half bath and it's really cute, right? It has anything you need in a half bath, a toilet and a sink. At the pedestal sink and I love how they added artwork. Uh, wallpaper is coming back, so you might want to wallpaper this or do an accent color on this wall to brighten it up. Uh, but I love how they decorated it. Again, just let me take a step back and show you. See how big this floor plan is? These have to be at least maybe nine foot ceilings down here. It's so huge. I love that they give you these kind of columns on each side as well. That's a gas fireplace. And again, this kitchen is just gigantic. All right, we're going to head upstairs. You notice they have the rev wood even on the staircase. And let's start here. Yes, let me give you the backup version. Two areas that have cutouts, the wrought iron uh, spindles again with the railing, a loft area, guys. So if you don't get a basement, which they don't have many, and I'm not sure if this floor plan will have one on the basement. You really don't need it, and you're going to save yourself about $60,000. They show it. You know, you could put a pool table up here. They're showing it kind of as a conversation room. If you wanted to put a flat screen TV up there, you could as well. Love these, like, archways throughout. Look at this light. This is part of their bronze package as well area to put like I said if you have this as a TV room like imagine making like a little snack bar area in here would be cool bedroom number two showing it uh, I would say this is a queen size bed um, you got the vaulted or tray ceilings I mean look how much room they just put this is just staged right so they just showed two small nightstands obviously guys you could put a king size bed in here with two nightstands and you still got plenty of space the windows the walk-in closet this is a secondary bedroom so do you have teenagers do you have family member that might be staying with you for an extended period of time um they definitely give you uh on most of them they're specced out with uh blinds at least in the front sometimes they're specking it out for the whole house as well um so Again, guys, this is about 30, over 3,800 square feet. And again, that front room where you saw the desk, um, 
I would say a majority of it's not going to come with that room. You're just going to get the three car garage, which is good because it, people like the three car garage, but it also saves you about nine thousand uh, dollars, typically on average. You got the beautiful secondary Jack and Jill bathroom. So both of these bedrooms will be sharing this bathroom, but you have the privacy doors. And as you can see, another privacy door for the shower, tub combo, the toilet area. And then look again, the size of this bedroom number three, the uh, tray ceilings. Again, absolutely, you know, put your bed here, TV on this wall, or put your bed here, TV on this wall, which I think I would probably do it that way too. Put a nightstand, maybe even a chair in here because of the sheer size of it. Secondary room closet, this hallway, right? Absolutely beautiful. Catwalk. Again, looking down to your front entrance, the two-story foyer, the loft. Bedroom number four. Again, look at the size. King-size bed, no problem. You know, I definitely would probably put my king-size bed or queen with a couple nightstands here. Maybe a nice low profile dresser, flat screen TV above. Even got room to create a sitting area with these beautiful views. Look at the trim work inside of these doors. And whoever has this room is gonna be great too because you step outside, you get bathroom number uh, three. The master bedroom will be bathroom number four. Tub shower, toilet, beautiful cabinetry. And the ever important linen closet, towel closet. Grab that before you head into the shower. And what really, really separates this floor plan is this master bedroom. This master bedroom is gigantic. It has the double doors. And again, notice the trim work inside of those doors. And boy, is it laid out beautifully, staged beautifully. As you can see, king size bed, two beautiful nightstands perfectly placed underneath the window. You have another stand up dresser drawer over here. But I got you. I got you guys. I know what you like. The sitting room. It is literally the size of another bedroom. You can see the tray ceilings, the archway up here. It's showing it with a couch. Imagine if you did an electric fireplace in here. Um, I mean, you can make this, you can do whatever you want with this space. Uh, showing it with a coffee table, two chairs, back into your bedroom area. And I don't know if you can see in the distance, you're going into a spa bath. Look at the size of that doorway heading in there. I mean, look at all the walls you still have to work with, right? You want to put your TV on this wall. It'll be perfect. Look how wide this entranceway is. Couples out there or a person that has a shoe collection, <laughs> you have your closet. Let me turn the light on here. One of two walk-in closets, as you can see over here. This is where the hot, uh, not the hot wire, the um, the wiring for your, usually your security and your Wi-Fi and stuff go into a box like that. Across the secondary closet. And the master bath suite. Notice the two doors each side. Look at that backdrop. Fully tiled, 12 inch tiles, huge soaking tub with the knee walls on both sides. All you gotta do is add some um, blinds here. And for the couples, again, one sink, two sinks, and the shower. Yes, the stand-up shower, fully tiled, chrome, glass, nook right here for your shampoos and all that good stuff in your water closet. So again, guys, if you want to be on a list, it's on a rolling basis. Hit me up. We'll get you with the pre-approval through the preferred lender, and we wait for the lots to get released. Talk to you soon.